So you might know that there are a lot of different ways you can make money with calligraphy, but if you're just starting out, what are some of the easiest ways to start off? And that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Just as a reminder, before we get into the video, if you look in the link in the description, you can download 15 free training videos. And these are on topics like how to register your business, how to do invoicing, how to get on-site calligraphy, how to start a website for your calligraphy business and a lot more things. So make sure you check that out in the link in the description. So in this video, when I'm talking about the ways you can make money as a calligrapher, they're not in any particular order. So it's not like the first one is the easiest and the last one is the least easiest. Um, they're all pretty easy for you to get started with. So the first one is to sell greeting cards. And if you're interested in learning more about how to sell greeting cards, I actually explain a lot more in this video right here. The simplest thing you can actually do with greeting cards is not even to get them printed, but if you want to make a couple samples of greeting cards, maybe thank you card, maybe a happy birthday card or a Christmas card, then just post that on your Instagram and then take custom orders. So you don't even need to know graphic design or know how to use Illustrator and you don't even have to go to a print shop. You can make handmade greeting cards at home for people who follow you or your friends. So what can you do today to get started? First, you can make 10 sample greeting cards. Second, you can go to the store and buy 10 envelopes. And third, you can post it on your Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, post it on your Facebook and tell your family and friends that you're taking orders for these cards. The second easiest way to make money as a calligrapher is to sell inspirational quotes. Right now, quotes are like, really big. Like everyone loves inspirational, positive quotes. So why don't you take that offline and give your friends the chance to have a really nice piece of artwork with their favorite quote. And this is super simple because all you need is paper, which we all have, calligraphy supplies, which we all have as calligraphers, and you just need to go to the store and buy some frames. So what can you do today to get started? First, Think of something inspirational that you would like to share with your friends and take a piece of paper and write it out with your pointed pen or your brush pen. The second thing to do is to go to the store and buy a frame. And the third thing is to take a picture of it and share it on your social media and tell your friends that you are open for custom orders for inspirational quotes. The third thing you can do is to sell personalized gifts. With calligraphy, there's a lot of different things we can write on, like a lot of different surfaces, like wood, acrylic, plastic, glass. And depending on your skills, you can make personalized gifts and give your friends the chance to buy them from you and to give them to their other friends. So what can you do today to get started? First, you can go to a craft store and browse different things that you can do calligraphy on. So this could be like a wooden sign or let's say you have a friend who is super organized and you see this plastic box um, and you think she would really like to organize her things with this plastic box and you can do faux calligraphy on that. Second, when you're at home, write some nice words like love or friendship or wonderlust and use faux calligraphy, your brush pen or a pointed pen, depending on the surface. And then third, take a picture and post the item to your social media and say that you are taking orders for personalized gifts. The fourth thing you can do is to teach your friends calligraphy. Well, you might be thinking, don't I need worksheets for that? Or don't I need to go find a location? Well, you actually don't need any of that. If you start off by teaching your friends, you literally just invite a couple friends to your house and ask them if they maybe want to learn calligraphy for you for like 20 bucks or something. And you can provide all the supplies and then you can find a date that works for everybody. And then just make sure that you go to the store and buy some nice notebooks or some pens for your friends. And then when they come over, you can teach them calligraphy just for fun. And maybe you can have like some snacks or something. If you do want to learn how to host a public workshop, then make sure you check out last week's video on how to teach a calligraphy workshop, because that is a video that is way more in depth and way more useful if you want to actually teach in front of strangers. 
Just as a general guideline, you can start off teaching the basic strokes and then you can move on to letters and then you can move on to words. And then at the end, you can get everyone to write their favorite quote. And then maybe you can even buy some frames and get them to frame it up in their homes. And congratulations, you have become a calligraphy workshop instructor. The next thing you can do to make money with calligraphy is to sell place cards for friends getting married. And why do I really like this idea for calligraphers who are just starting out? A lot of the times when we think of like wedding calligraphy, we think of like really nice wedding invitations or some really nice menu cards, but actually the easiest thing to start out with is just a simple place card or a escort card. And it's a really nice touch to a wedding because every single guest gets to keep that little card and it's like a little memento from the wedding. So you actually now might be wondering, well, if I know a friend getting married, I kind of feel bad charging them for my services if they're like a really good friend. So what you can do is if you're actually going to get them a gift anyways, you could suggest to your friend, hey, like I'm happy to gift you $200 worth of my calligraphy services and that is my wedding gift to you. What do you think? And then when your friend says yes, then you can ask her, what she would like you to do for her wedding. And most likely it might be some place cards. You could also try some other things like a seating chart, menu cards, welcome signs. You could take a stab at wedding invitations if you want to. Um, but I think for wedding invitations, it's a little bit more tricky because you need to have some graphic design skills. But everything else, if it's handmade, then I would say definitely give it a shot. And it's your friend's wedding, so they won't be too picky because they love you as a friend. So if you want to get started on doing weddings, what can you do today to get started? Well, the first thing is to take a piece of cardstock and cut it into 20 little pieces and then write some friends names on it. The second thing to do is to make sure your friends know that you are offering these kinds of services. So make sure you take that photo and you post it on your social media. And the third thing to do is if you know someone getting married, then just mention it to them that you are a calligrapher and if they need any calligraphy services like place cards, then tell them to let you know. The next easiest way to make money as a calligrapher is to do signage for local shops. So for this one, it might actually take some time to build some momentum, but if you can build that momentum and get exposure for you doing the service, then it's really going to take off. If you've ever passed a restaurant or a coffee shop or a bar and you see like a sign outside and you think, oh my gosh, like that sign is so ugly, then why don't you go inside ask the owner if you can change things up on the sign. So you probably, they probably actually might have like chalk pens or um, whatever they use for their signs. But if you want to, you could always carry a few in your bag in different colors, just in case. And a lot of signs are on like the black kind of chalkboard marker. So you would need chalk pens. So what do you do exactly today to get started? So the first thing is to find a coffee shop or just a shop or a restaurant where they have a sign outside or maybe even like a menu sign inside and you can offer them to do the sign for free. The second thing to do is to take a picture of the sign after you finished it and just mention to them, hey, I live in the area and I'm here if you ever want to make a beautiful menu sign or a beautiful welcome sign or if you're having an event, you can make a beautiful event sign. And third, do this a couple of times so you kind of build a portfolio of doing signs and in time you'll get shops phoning you up or emailing you or messaging you to do their signs for them. This one's actually the hardest one to do because it takes some time, but it's really great when you can get a project like that, like a paid project afterwards, because it'll be a business buying from you and 
businesses, you can charge more because it's like a corporate project instead of like a personal project. So I just wanted to touch on one last thing about doing free work. So with the one where you're approaching shops to do their signage, I know it's for free and you might hear some business coaches or mentors or other people saying that, no, don't do things for free because you're just undervaluing yourself and you shouldn't be doing your work for free. But I'm a really big fan of doing free work because as long as you get value out of it, then it's worth it for you. So maybe you won't get money from doing free work, but you can get exposure, you can network, you can get contacts, you can get potential clients who already are in love with you. And in the future, these people could become potential clients and they could come to you to purchase your services. So I would say that with free work, it kind of depends, but if you know that you can get value out of it, then it is okay. So if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you take a screenshot of this video and add me on Instagram at Dina Calligraphy, add this to your stories and tag me because I would love to connect with you as a subscriber and to help you get a couple of followers and to feature you back. So make sure you take that screenshot and you tag me on your stories. And don't forget, if you want access to 15 free in-depth training videos about how to start a calligraphy business, then make sure you check the link in the description. So let me know in the comments, what did you think of this video? Are you going to try some of these out? Have you already tried some of these out? Maybe you have come up with some other idea from watching this video. So let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think and I'd love to connect with you further. And if you want to learn more about some other ways to make money with calligraphy, then make sure you check out this video where I share 10 ways to make money as a calligrapher. And if you want to learn about how to host workshops, then make sure you check out last week's video on how to teach a calligraphy workshop. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.